10,000 years ago, the human brain had one very simple job, keep you alive. From morning till night, our ancestors spent their days looking for food, searching for water, finding shelter, and avoiding large animals and other kinds of dangers. Move forward 10,000 years, our brain has many more things to do. Finding food and water and shelter uh, is a simple task. Much harder is becoming prepared to be a functional adult. Learning how to problem solve. Learning a job and the social requirements of our society. Children today in school uh, no longer are successful if they can just memorize math and spelling and reading. To be successful, children need to learn to problem solve, to pay attention to details, to plan, to control their emotions, to know when to start, to know how to finish. All of these abilities come at a price. They don't come in a computer program, they don't come in a book, they come from the day in and day out experiences children have. Unfortunately, not all children find it easy to develop these abilities. Unfortunately, not all children find success in the classroom, on the playground, or with their families. But we have learned that we can better understand how to help children. We can learn to unlock the potential of their brains and to make them smarter, to make them problem solve better, to help them think more clearly, to plan, to organize, and most importantly, to be successful in the world that we are creating for them. Nesplora is a pioneer in creating tools to first understand and to second unlock the potential of the brain. Nesplora is the future of assessment for children and for adults. Two children take a math test. The teacher knows that both of them understand the same amount of math. The teacher then grades the math test. One child receives an A, the other child receives a B. Yet both children knew the same math. So the teacher asks the first child, the child who received the B, how did you take the test? And the child explains that he started with the first question and did every question in order until he completed the test. Then the teacher asks the second child, how did you take the test? And the second child tells the teacher, my papa told me I should do all the easy problems first. And in doing so, this child demonstrated that success on tests or in the classroom or in life is not just based on what you know, but based on what you do with what you know. Executive function has become a term that's now used to explain the strategies that we use uh, to do the things that are required of us. Executive function explains how you do what you do. And we now know from a very large and growing body of research that executive function behaviors such as uh, paying attention to detail, planning, organizing, controlling your emotions, that these behaviors contribute almost 25, sometimes even more, percent that is 25 percent of success. When children begin to leave school we teach them not more knowledge but how to take college tests, how to take employment tests. Knowing how to do what you need to do is a critical key for success in our society. This is what executive functioning is all about. Executive functioning is one phenomenon. How you do what you do. Made up of all kinds of behaviors. And at Nesplora, we can measure those behaviors in a virtual environment.